Hey guys, I'm back again with another Octopath Traveler video, and in this video, I wanted to show you where you can find all of Octopath Traveler's endgame equipment. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down the line for my characters and kind of show you the loadout for every character and just go weapon by weapon, armor by armor, and accessory by accessory. So let's get into it. The first weapon is the Trade Wind Spear, and it is a quest reward from Ali after completing Tressa's Chapter 4. The Double Tomahawk can be stolen or purchased from Archibald after Ulbricht's Chapter 4, or as a quest reward from Ogin's epilogue found in Northreach. The Primeval Bow of Storms is a quest reward from the Again with a Leg side quest in Victor's Hollow. The Adamantine Hat can be stolen or purchased from Angela in Northreach, or found in a purple chest in the Ebony Grotto or Maw of the Ice Dragon. The Sorcerer's Robe can be stolen or purchased from a townsperson at the entrance of Everhold, and from two townspeople in Noble Court. The Elemental Augmenter can be stolen or purchased from an old man in Stoneguard or Therese in Atlas Dam and is a quest reward for completing the Scaredy Sheep quest outside of Whisper Mill. Thanks to thee. The Battle Tested Staff can only be purchased from Bishop Bartolo in Saints Bridge or can be farmed by challenging a level 10 old woman in the graveyard in Clearbrook. The Battle Tested Shield can only be purchased from Grieg the Unbreakable in Marsalem and farmed by challenging a Muttering Codger in Flames Grace. The Mental Belt is a drop from Primrose's Chapter 4 boss and can be farmed by challenging Bishop Bartolo in Saints Bridge. The Rune Glaive can be stolen from a merchant in Grandport and farmed by challenging Leon Bastral in Ripletide. The Adamantine Dagger is a quest reward for completing Ariana's quest line. Mick and Max Shield is a quest reward for completing their side quest. The Silent Bandana can be simply purchased from the store in Northreach. The Ethereal Dancer Garb can be stolen or purchased Hello. from a merchant in Grandport or looted from a purple chest in the Amphitheater. The Battle-Tested Blade can only be purchased from Earhart in Wellspring or farm by challenging a townsperson in Lower Boulderfall. Let us fight with honor. Have at The Battle-Tested Spear can be purchased off Leon in Rippletide or farmed by challenging an old woman in Rippletide. The battle-tested dagger can be stolen off of Vanessa in Undertow Cove or farmed by challenging the guard captain right outside Ravis Manor in Boulderfall. The memorial axe is a quest reward for completing the Zeph and Mercedes side quest line. The battle-tested bow can be purchased off of Zanta in Sorky or farmed off the old storyteller inside the tavern. The Crystal Helm can be stolen off Natalia in Stoneguard. The Crystal Armor can be stolen off of Gaston in Cobbleston. The Physical Belt is a drop from the Chapter 4 boss for Primrose and can also be farmed by challenging Jan in Noble Court. The Master Spear can be stolen off of Conrad the Impaler in Noble Court. The Death Cleaver can be stolen or purchased from a townsperson in Whisper Mill, stolen or purchased off of Omar in Lower Boulderfall, or can be looted from a purple chest in Everhold Tunnels. The Transcendent Bow of Shadows is a quest reward for completing the Shadow Over the Sands side quest found in Wellspring. The Robe of the Flame can be stolen or purchased in Victor's Hollow, stolen or purchased in Mar Salim, or farmed by challenging an elderly woman in Whisper Mill. The Bishop's Staff is a quest reward for completing the Liana and Eliza side quest in Whisper Mill, or can be stolen or purchased off of Liana in Whisper Mill. 
The Blessed Blazon is a quest reward for completing the Keeping Up with the Windham side quest in Grandport after completing Tressa's and Therian's Chapter 4. Herald Sword is a quest reward for completing the Hello Again Herald in Riverford. The Battle Tested Axe can be purchased off of Ned in Victor's Hollow or farmed by challenging the Tavern Patron in Atlas Dam. Viper Dagger can be stolen or purchased off of an NPC in Dusk Barrow and the Forest of No Return or looted from a purple chest in the Marsalem Catacombs. The Knowledge Staff can be stolen or purchased off of Morlock in Lower Boulderfall or looted from a purple chest way. in the Everhold Tunnels. Damn rocks in my way. The 